<laughs> go good too. <laughs> All good. Perfect sync. Nice. Excellent job. You can see the uh, the slight loading zone advantage on the Xbox already. Oh. Looks like Gogo's doing the whole tech skipping thing. He's going in for blood. <laughs> we got no agreement going on this race. Every man for himself. So, I guess I thought that the only person to complete a damageless run was Haganator, but I've learned that there are two people that have completed damageless runs. Yeah. Yeah, there was there was someone who did it before Hag, and then Hag did it just recently, I think. Okay. It was just a couple weeks ago that he did his stream of it. But as far as I know, like, I'm sure some people have done it, but as far as I know, those are, like, the only two that have really... Someone really done, done like five or six hours. I see, I see. Well, lots of people has it going. Uh, Lane and Lurks, Oxalin, Captain Cole, Ayo Chili, Brandino, Conquer the Juggalo. Yeah, hopefully this race will be a little bit longer than the one we had earlier this morning. It was definitely entertaining, but uh, Nipper proved to be a little too strong for uh, not Weege. Yeah, uh, I was in the call for a little bit earlier, and Gogo -Go was just practicing uh, the Honeycomb Quick Dive um, in TTC by Snacker. Um, that was the other spot that got uh, Saxo Gaming. So yeah. we'll see if Gogo's practice pays off, if he's able to get further than the other runners. <laughs> yeah, again, for that, like I said earlier, like. For me, it's gotta kill Snacker. Yeah. I would even if even if I was like expert at the bat or the uh, quick dive to that honeycomb, I know that like the moment I'm in the water, I'm just I'm gonna take damage. I'm gonna take damage. He's alive. Yeah, Gogo had a 208 spiral mountain there, which is uh, pretty quick. Mind getting bottle skip. It's good. It's funny in the first race we saw both runners try to do the different methods, but both of them failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think getting hit in Spiral Mountain, the only real way is that, uh, I mean, I, think, I can't remember which runner they were talking about getting hit by the onion, by the stumps. Yeah, that was um, either Saxo or Weech. I don't remember. I think it was Saxo, because he said he did a weird route out of the water. Oh. Yeah, and then the second Kali Wobble, I think, is the only like real threat. I think Weech actually killed that Kali Wobble in the first race, because he just didn't want to deal with it. Alright, this is the first time we've seen Ticker's Tower as BK during the tournament, so we'll see if Gogo -Go manages to play it safe. Looks like he's living. Yeah, you know Mayan is going to be getting the termite. So, I think uh, Mayan probably has eggs already. Yeah, if he's playing on Xbox, he would have eggs. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was, like, always, or... It's just a personal choice. Yeah. I think he said that in the Xbox route, you start with eggs. Yeah, yeah looks like you do. collecting eggs. Oh. All right, man, coming up to uh, Ticker's Tower here. Slope glitch on Xbox. Yep, yep. Well, super slope glitch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it's you can't slope glitch at all or you just can't slope glitch there. Um, yeah, I think it's just that area. Well, I'm not positive. 
because... I'm not sure. It's just there? Okay. Yeah, because I know they patched that on 1.1. Yeah. For the North American version. Uh, Gogo doesn't... Gogo already has Gogo eggs, already too. Gogo already has eggs, too. Yeah. I don't know if that was an oversight. It's, it's likely not to be an issue, but... Yeah, I... Yeah. That's definitely an accident. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to ask him what's going on with his FFM setup. I can't, I can't remember the last the last thing I saw Gogo stream BK. He doesn't do it very often. I'm worried that somebody's gonna get hit by Konga's foot, like as they're trying to grab the orange. <laughs> I I immediately like go to every runner when they're grabbing the orange because I I don't know how to jump off that tree without getting hit by Konga. Yeah. Jump off at the top. <laughs> Gogo going back up to the huts now. Gotta dodge the minefield of termites, and he's definitely going around the <laughs> long way. <laughs> Not even taking a chance. I guess he remembered to grab these eggs too. If he doesn't have eggs, then he's gonna have to you know, get as many as he can. Yeah. yeah. Those grublins were pretty close to him there. Yeah, one of the spots that I like randomly get hit in runs is um like by one of the oranges as I jump over to the other side. Um, so it's interesting like most players have stayed stayed safe and uh, just on the original pillar to shoot Congo. I'm Babby Strat Congo, so I've never done the uh... I mean I used to do the jump over, but when I started running BK more seriously, I was like, nah, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, Mayan's going back up to the hut area to finish up his... Yeah, just gotta be the termite. Right. Keep wanting to say Mayhem Temple. <laughs> Understandable. I do always enjoy uh, picking up the Jiggies as the termite. Yeah. There's like three Jiggies over here. A lot of Jiggy dance skips. It's too bad you can't grab the one in the eye as well. Yeah. Alright, Gogo gets his Jingo er Jinjo Jiggy Dance skip. He's out of the level now. Yeah, this is a, just a really fast Momo's Mountain. <laughs> Damage is too weak. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, he actually slow glitched it. I don't believe it. I didn't think he jumped out far enough. <laughs> when did Gogo -Go start running? Banjo? Yeah. Me? Yeah. I, he's been like he was around here before, like before I was around. Yeah. I don't know. I have some old clips of like from Bingo where. I know that he, uh, from like, I don't even know, probably 2015, hmm. 2015, doing the termite dance. Yeah, that was spooky. <laughs> oh, okay, the other termite got real close. So, Goku did say he was going to talk to Brentilda. I usually talk to the one in this lobby just because she's so close, but... I think if you get good, uh, oh no, mine fell in. Oh, he grabs the Jinjo before. I think some Xbox runners wait and grab the, the Jinjo first, then jump off with the Jiggy and then do all the, do all the, uh, notes after. Mm -hmm. All right, Gogo's practicing this before, grabbing the Mumbo token first and then going to do the cauldron after. 
Oh, and yeah, Cole's, Cole's got a good point. You can't you can't do 100% damage list because Mingi zaps you for one when you start that boss fight. Dang. But you can get close. On my uh, on my uh, stream that I'm watching of your capture, they both just like slowed down to almost stopping, and then all of a sudden they sped back up. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. It's funny. It's, it, that was either Discord or my computer processing power. Oh, yeah. 100% so. Discord for sure. All right, so Gogo's choosing to go into Clankers before TTC. That is an interesting route choice. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. Like, you don't have a lot of places you can take damage in Clankers, aside from, you know, like, the, the uh, saw blades. Right. I mean, unless you, like, fall off here or something like that, or accidentally get hit by one of the dudes in the, in the pipes here, but... Oh, it looks like mine's doing the same thing. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, the grill chompers. Getting a little too safe. Get, getting to that part where you know, like, you're playing it so safe that you start kind of being reckless with your movement a little bit. That always happens to me when I'm trying not to get hit by the birds in uh, in Click Clock. Yeah, I was watching uh, Oxalin uh, after the first race, and he seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, mine's doing the same thing. So I guess it makes sense because, you know, like I was saying, you don't have a lot of opportunities to take damage here compared to a TTC. So you just um, just make this play to get as many collectibles as you can. And then just outlast your opponent that way. You had some good thinking. Morning, Steve. Alright, Gogo doesn't have anything to worry about down here. There's no damage to be had while you're underwater. Uh, so... If you drown, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can't do the death warp, so that's like the only, like, ratting change that'll be, like, super different. Yeah. When someone takes damage... Uh, they have to stop playing. And if their opponent gets more completion than they do, then they win. I probably should have asked, uh, I think Gogo and Nade have a... I, I pinned the rules in the Discord, but I wonder what happens if the players tie. Like, they get the same amount of collectibles, or same number of collectibles, mm -hmm. and then just, they both die at the same spot. Uh, probably a rematch. Or, oh no, it was, it was down to who got there faster. Yeah, who, yeah. who took damage last, I guess. Yeah. Oh, whoever did it faster, so that would be whoever took damage first then, I guess. Right, yeah. Yeah, there isn't a pace bin. There's only, like, a Piazzo link. I guess in the challenge, uh, in the challenge, there's a, uh, a list of rules there. So if you go to the damage list tournament there, there's the list of rules. I mean, I think damageless is pretty straightforward. Yeah. And anybody with specific questions, like, you know, it's it's okay for us to answer them. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, in the bracket description, there's a full list of rules that they typed up, so. Yeah. It's just easier to say exclamation bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so these, uh, what are these, whip cracks? The, the little tentacle enemies underwater 
Gotta be a little wary of those, because they're kind of sporadic, but pretty easy to avoid overall. Yeah, when Gogo was swimming into the area, I thought he was for sure he was going to get nicked by one. Like, I mean, I've done the swim a bunch of times, so you know it's not going to happen, but it almost looks like it, like, enters Banjo's, like, f frame. Like the polygons touch. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting, uh, Gogo was collecting gold feathers, which is, yeah. uh, he's probably, probably, probably making, a lot extra. Probably making sure he has enough gold feathers before going through, uh, the first set of, uh, blades. Yeah. Do you think he learned gold feathers already, too, on his file? I would imagine. I... I don't know actually, because we didn't see whether or not he had learned red feathers because right. they haven't been to TTC yet. Right. <coughs> but if he has eggs already, then I think it's fair to assume. This is definitely like a different, different kind of tournament race. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not. J. Will, I'm not sure if that flight disc is always active, because there's some flight pads and shock spring pads in the game that are just always active. Yeah, like uh, in in Gobi's Valley, under the water, those are always there. Yeah, Harpy, we're talking about Gogo -Go, though. Because. <laughs> I think Gogo -Go thought he was running on a regular FFM file, but when he went to learn eggs in, in uh, Mumbo's Mountain, he already had the move learned, so he had to like collect some extra eggs in the level. So I guess we're about to find out right here if he's gonna. Yeah, it looks like he's got. Oh it. yeah, he does. So he has all his moves learned. The safest of strats, I love it. Yeah. CC be a one hundred percent completion in an FFM file setup. Man. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh. Gogo, -Go, like, just barely had enough gold feather to get there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just enough gold feathers to make it all the way through. Nice. That's scary. Yeah, so, uh, man's doing the same thing. He didn't, he didn't get the extra gold feathers in, oh, um... He's gotta make it through the last blades here oh he makes it so he's he's just uh he's just gonna be walking on the side and hoping not to get hit yeah unless he's gonna pick these gold feathers up here nope I'm not going for it all right we're we're gonna see some balls and oh strats oh my here. gosh he's even getting the notes he's getting the notes he's too. getting the notes oh he made it i can't believe wow. it Wow. So is he gonna is he gonna go feathers out? Oh yeah. No. Oh, oh no. my god. What nope, a player. He made, it. he made it. He knows. He knows what's safe. He even did the same thing. Like at the beginning of Clanker Clankers, Gogo -Go killed all the the sewer dudes, but Mayan just ran underneath them as he normally would. Mayan's just playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got seven gold feathers now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go go going up to the mutant snippets now. Could Mine take damage here, but crack. Go go using his last gold feather. He's 
almost out of eggs too. The other one's yeah, the other one's still living. Oh yep, my god. He's playing it ultra safe. He's probably gonna get all the eggs in this room. He's probably not used to having this few eggs. Yeah, when you start with uh, all the moves, you get uh, there's a lot more resource management to handle. I wouldn't be surprised if he like even picks them up from like the tunnels underwater on his way out. Yeah. All right, mine's heading up to do the same thing now. Yeah, I wonder what mine's approach is gonna be. I mean, pretty standard. Oh wow. I thought he didn't jump high enough for his beak bust, because I know the mutant snippets are a lot bigger than the the uh, regular ones. <gasps> he oh no, he gets took hit. damage! No. Oh no, that's that's gonna be game. Yeah, Gogo -Go has more completion on there. Oh, just as I was Ooh. saying, the mutant <laughs> snippets were bigger. Oh.